What's up, everyone? Welcome back to A Line in the Stars. I'm Jordan, and we are here today with our new series. I am super, super, super excited to bring you the USS Defiant NX-74205. Uh, the NX-01 was a fun ship to build for Matt. I did it over the course of a week a little while ago, and... Let me tell you, that was a hell of a thing to do, um, but I've been jonesing to get back to building a Star Trek model. Um, I'm a little jealous that he's got it sitting on his shelf and I don't have one of my own Star Trek models on my own shelf. So, let's go ahead and change that, shall we? She's a little ship, but she's got teeth. Uh, yeah, I, this was when they introduced this in Season 3 of Deep Space Nine. It was one of the, like, I remember as a kid, I was, God, goodness me, how old was I? And season three was 95. So I was 13. Yeah, I was 13 in 1995. Um, when I was 13, my mind was blown by this ship. I had been used to the next generation and the way that, uh, you know, the Enterprise D was, you know, just kind of a very tame ship. And then so at the beginning of season three, <clears throat> when they introduced this ship, it was kind of like a mind-blowing thing. It was just an amazing thing. And so, yeah, I've been wanting to do this model since I was a kid. It was, I, yeah, I'm super excited. Now, obviously, you guys have seen the NX-01. You guys have seen the Marauder. The Marauder turned out really well. I'm really, really proud of the work that was done on that model. I want to take the skills that we've gathered from the last couple of models and apply it here and see what we can't do with the Defiant and see if we can't up our game a little bit. So, one thing I did do is I took the plastic off. I only looked on the inside of the box to make sure that I had the right colors because I want to start working on it today. Uh, sometimes, like when we do these unpackaging videos, it'll be done, you know, I'll unpackage it a couple days beforehand and then, you know, I'll go pick up all the colors that I need or whatever. Um, in this case, that is not what happened. I went ahead and just unpackaged it and then in the car, when I bought it <laughs> and then I went right back into the model shop and uh, purchased the colors and so let's go ahead and take a look she may have flaws but she's got teeth I love that from Captain Sisko uh, we have our dome uh, dome there's no way to pose this as landed there are a lot of decals for this model. Uh, a lot of the model itself, we're just gonna be painting in the base coat. We'll go ahead and do our uh, technique where we do the capillary function, where we get the deck plates and all that separated out. But a lot of the work is gonna be done through decals, which I'm actually really looking forward to. Decal work has actually become something that, you know, now that I understand how the process works and all the solutions and all of the different things, I actually really enjoy it. And so that's the thing that I'm looking forward to the most actually on this model. And then from underneath here, we are six and three quarters inches long, uh, clear parts to light the model. I thought about trying to figure out that I know we're not going to light this model. I think it's just going to be, it's a pretty small one. So I think that it would be, you know, the best to just focus on the detail and the quality of the work and let the work shine through. <laughs> You catch my drift. All right, so it's a snap model, uh, as we've done with the last couple. It doesn't really make too much of a, a difference for me. It just it, it makes sure that everything is secure and it works for me very well. Uh, our next model, I'm gonna, I imagine, um, well, our next model is sitting staring at me right now. I'm looking at it, and uh, yeah, it's not a snap model. So we'll just uh, we'll allude to that one for now. Uh, it does have the dome base, uh, register marking, and panel decals. So, yeah, there's a lot of intricate panel panel work on the model, uh, which makes me super happy. And it's molded in gray. So, now I did mention before, way back when we were doing the NX-01, that the, um, we're going to be going with the same gray for all of our Starfleet models. And the one thing that I did see after I was finished with the model and re like really looked under light, it was just kind of a light gray. And I went with the same Vallejo paint, but I stepped up the grade. So we went to a medium gray versus a light gray for this model. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm going to test uh, when we spray today, I'm going to test on the inside. I do have both colors. Uh, I'm going to test on the inside and see how I like it. So let's go ahead and open up 
and see what we got. So there we have the instructions. Yeah, there's, yeah, there are a lot of decals. We're gonna be doing a lot of work on this one. So let's go ahead and unpackage our parts here real quick. So we have our dome base, short rod, which makes me happy. The one on the uh, NXL one was kind of a large model or large rod. And I'm <laughs> nice, large rod, and I wasn't too happy with it. We have our clear parts here, and yeah pretty simple we have looks like we have what would this would be i guess this would be the engines in the back so these are going to be blue these are going to be red that's going to be blue yeah cool and then these are going to be blue these sit on top these are like the warp fueled uh em coils i believe is what they're called anyway those sit <laughs> all of the rest is just in one little package those sit right there the whole model is in one package. <laughs> yeah, and all of it gets base coat. So I'm not going to be really thinking too much about this model. We're going to spend some real quality time doing a nice paint job on this one. That's what I'm really going to focus on. I think the, the work and the detail work that we're going to be following, you know, as with all of our models, we follow our standard techniques of the way we build our models. And, but I think this time there's going to be a lot of focus on just the detail. Like, how good can I paint this bad boy? So I am super excited. And then this is a really large decal sheet. This might actually be the largest decal sheet I've seen. Um, so super excited yeah we're definitely gonna be focusing hard on the uh, quality of the paint on this model so i have my paint booth paint booth all set up in the living room well in my dining room let's go ahead and head over there and start painting shall we
All right, we are back with some final thoughts, and I have to be brutally honest here. It has been a month since I've opened this model. Uh, I was doing a bunch of painting inside of my little paint booth, uh, as you guys just saw, and it was done. Man, what was I painting at the time? I was painting the Enterprise C, I was painting the NX-01, and I also painted the Defiant. Um, yeah, I did a lot, but the last time I took a look at this model was on Christmas Day at about 9 p.m. So, let's go ahead and take a look. I am curious, I, I don't know what we're about to find, but I do remember the paint went on really nice. So, let's go ahead and see. I'm going to be just as surprised as you are. Oh, look at that. Man, oh, there's a piece of paper sitting over the top. <laughs> All right. Got to clear parts here. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. Paint went on real nice. So, I can kind of see there. Yeah. Very, very nice paint job. At this point, this was the last thing that I had painted. It was the last model that I had bought, actually. I bought this the same day as I purchased uh, the NX-01, but it was the last one that I had painted, and so by this point, I had had a lot of experience. So, yeah, it turned out really, really good. Now, yeah, look at that. Wow, I'm actually... I'm pretty surprised by that. There is no overspray that I'm seeing right now. It is a nice, shiny, even coat. Wow, Jordan, you did a good job. Look at that. This is not a complicated model, so a lot of our work is going to be done, you know, with like paint work and getting our detail work and put in place. And so, yeah, wow, this turned out really good. I'm really surprised. So, oh man, guys, this, I'm, I am just about to start working on this for the very first time. Um, besides like doing base coat and stuff like that. And I gotta be honest, I am super, super excited. Now, the thing that's also super cool is this is the very first video that I am filming on my new little office desk setup. I have spent the last two days putting together a new desk. Uh, my previous, uh, where I've been re recording all of these videos was my work, like regular tiny, not like work desk, but, uh, you know, has my monitors on it and all of those things. And anytime I needed to do work, I was having to like grab the things that I needed. And if I had to like grab something special, I was having to do a little cut and all of that. And so this is the very first one that we're filming here at my new desk. I have been waiting all day to shoot this one, and I'm super excited. This is super awesome. I am really, really pumped. I've been kind of waiting to show you guys, like, my recording area and all that jazz, and I think as I finish up, you guys will be seeing that pretty soon. So, otherwise, the next step, I think what we're going to go ahead and do next is one of my very favorite things, and we're going to go ahead and do our capillary work, and then we're going to go ahead and start picking out one of our hull detail or one of our hull panels here and we're going to leave everything on the sprues and we're going to go ahead and do a very very fine detailed job of painting on here so that's going to be the, the we're going to start there we're going to pick one uh but the next episode we're going to be doing all of our capillary work so we're going to go ahead and define our hull panels for the next episode which is super exciting so oh my friends here we are the defiant she's little but she's got teeth and uh man let me tell you i am super excited to build this one and get it up onto my displays oh this is going to be super cool so if you guys have any questions comments tips tricks please leave them down below if you'd like to support the channel please like and subscribe and my friends the next time i see you in this series i'm going to be super giddy to start doing some real work on this model. So, uh, I just want to say thank you. I know there's a million things you all could have been doing today, and instead you spent a couple minutes watching me build a model, paint a model, a month ago. But from your perspective today, time travel? Aliens? I don't know. <laughs> but instead you spent a couple minutes watching me build a model, and I think that's pretty damn cool. Oh, 
And until we see each other again, my friends, I hope you all have a wonderful day in this beautiful world, wherever you happen to be. And just remember, today just might be a good day to die.